Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows application how to display records in a text box control from the selected combo box value. See so here, it's already selected the employee ID one Charan Charan at gmail.com 5000 is salaries. Suppose I'm selecting the mark. So mark employee ID is 16, name mark, is email ID and salary is 2000. Steve, if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET Windows application. Go to file new project. And from the templates I'm selecting Windows. From Windows templates I'm choosing Windows Forms application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The Windows application name is Combo Box Search. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let me expand this form one design page. Now in this form one design page, I am adding one comma box control and some text box control to display the records of the selected employee name from the comma box control. Open toolbox, comma box control. The next one I am adding the text box control, toolbox text box control control C control B I got four text box controls here I'm adding some labels to this text box controls toolbox label Control C, Control V, Level 4, Level 3, and Level 2. Label 1, press F4. I'm changing the label text to EMP ID. Label 2 is the name. Label 3 is the email ID. And the last one, F4 salary. That's it, we have done the designing part. Now double click the form one design page. It will generate the form one load event. Now in this form load event, I'm binding the employee name into the combo box control. So first, first I'm adding the database connection string in the app.config file. So for that we open server explorer, data connections right click that one, add connection, the server name, I'm adding my SQL server name. After adding server name, I'm selecting the database name, sample db, test connection, is succeeded ok, ok. And here we got the sample db.dbo connection and the data connections. Now we need the sample db.dbo data source. Right click the sample db.dbo, go to properties. In the properties, the third option is a connection string, which is a data source. Copy the whole part. Open solution explorer. App.config file. Open that one. Now Inside the configuration, I'm adding connection string, add name is equals to my connection, connection string, I'm adding the data source here, provider name, system dot, data dot, SQL client. After adding the connection string in the app.config file, 
again switch back to the code behind let's add some namespaces using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot configuration system dot configuration namespace is user to get the connection string from the config file but by default in windows application this system dot configuration namespace dll library is not included in the project references folder I'm expanding the references folder. Notice there is no any system dot configuration namespace. Let's add that DLL library namespace here. I click the references, add reference, and find the system dot configuration namespace. Here it is. Check the checkbox control. Click OK. And here it's added system dot configuration in our project in the references folder now in the form load event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is my con dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equal to new SQL connection I have created the object for the SQL connection string SQL query between these double quotes I'm writing the SQL query to fetch the records from the database let's check my table name in the database this is an employee table which contains four columns. I'm binding the employee name column to the combo box control. Let's switch back to the coding part. Select star from DBO dot employee table name. SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command the first parameter is the SQL query and the second parameter it will take the SQL connection object which is SQL com I'm adding here SQL con dot open method SQL data adapter SDA is equals new SQL data adapter which takes the object SQL com data table DT is equals to new data table SDA dot fill method DT combo box one dot value member is equals to the id column combo box 1 dot display member is equals to name column combo box 1 dot data source is equals to dt in friends here i forgot to add a sql connection takes the object of this main con that's it we have done the step one to bind the employee name details in the combo box control let's check the output start see here we got the output the employee name is binded to the combo box control now my next step is when I select any particular employee name from this combo box control I want to display that employee details in this text box control close the output window stop debugging switch to the design mode double click the combo box control and here we got the combo box selected indexer event 
just for the time saving I'm adding up to the here yeah, the coding part the select query where name is equals to single quotes plus plus now between this plus plus I am adding combo box one dot text SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method while SDR dot read method now here the condition is once the employer record is found I want to read that and display in a text box control text box one dot text is equals to SDR I'm adding the column name 0 which is the ID you can add the column name also between the strings dot to string second column name is a name text box 2 dot text is equals to SDR 1 dot to string text box 3 dot text sdr 2 dot to string method text box 4 dot text is equals to sdr 3 dot to string method the last one SQL con dot close method that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results start see here it's already selected the employee id one charan charan at gmail.com 5000 is salaries suppose i'm selecting the mark so mark employee id is 16 name mark his email ID and salary is 2000. Steve, that's it.